Hello everyone, we'll be exploring the authentication process using Laravel Sanctum. Laravel Sanctum is a package designed to make API authentication a breeze in Laravel applications. Laravel Sanctum is built on top of Laravel's authentication system and simplifies the implementation of token-based authentication. It's particularly useful when building applications with a separate front-end and back-end, where you need to authenticate requests from a SPA, single-page application, or a mobile app now this is a fresh Laravel 10 project and it comes with the Sanctum package already installed inside of it. So first we need to go our user model and check if it has the has API token to generate access token and yes it is already included in our user model. Next we need to make a new authentication controller using the PHP artisan make controller and let's name it auth controller. Inside of it we need to first make a register function to add new users to our database. I will just paste the code for the registration and explain it. First we are validating the request that we are getting and making sure the email is unique. Then if the validator fails it will return an error message with the problem, and then we will create a new user and add it to our database and then return the new user info. Then we will make our login function which first validates the request and return an error message if it fails, and then we will try to log in the user, if his credentials are wrong we will return an error message, else we will get the user and create a new token for him and return it as a JSON response. And now after we have made our authentication controller we need to go to our API and register our routes, so let's first add our login route and then we will add our register route, now let's make our build our database using php artisan migrate fresh command and then we will run our application after that let's go to postman to test our authentication let's first use the register function to create a new user let's add name email and a password The password needs confirmation but let's just remove it from our validator we don't need it, and let's try again, and now our new user is added to our database, now let's to login to get our access token, we only need email and password, and now we got our access token and we are logged in successfully. Now let's try to access the user root that already comes with the Laravel application so we can test our middleware. We will do it first without authenticating so we can see what we will get, we got root login not defined that is because if a user is not authenticated it will redirect him into the login root, but our login root doesn't have a name so it didn't find it. Now let's change the name of the redirected root and let's call it auth, I have created a simple root to return a simple message and I have named it auth, but let's first make it return a response JSON with the message, and then let's go and try it, and yes we got the message that we just added, now let's try to log in and get the access token, after that we will add the token as a bearer token and then try to access the user root. And yes we are logged in successfully and we are inside the user root. If you like this video and want more Laravel content please like and subscribe.